So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. In the very first seconds of that teaching, the Sermon on the Mount, a teaching that stood in such stark contrast to what they had been taught, the one who is the way, the truth, and the life said to his disciples, Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Or, blessed are the meek. Okay? Matthew 5.5. 5. So this then has to become the character of a gentleman, of a saint, of the redeemed of the Lord. Throughout the, the, the Sermon on the Mount, you heard you know, Jesus, and I'll give you one example. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other to him also. Mm-hmm. You know what? You'll still hear the same thing. You have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for tooth. In, in so many churches on Sundays, uh, Jesus is saying, that's what you've heard it said. But I'm saying to you now, you have, you have to come. If you're, going to, if you're going to be my ambassador, if you're going to go out and bring my love, my peace, my word to people, you had better understand the meekness, the gentleness that the Lord requires, even to the extent somebody slaps you on one cheek, turn the other also. And then he said, you have heard it said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 5, 43 and 44. I'll tell you what, Christians don't want to hear this today. They just don't want to hear it. Well, if you don't want to hear it, Talk to Jesus about it. And, I mean, you can, you can reach right over now and turn me off. That's between you and the Lord. It's not between you and me. The fact of the matter is, this is the word of God, and you're responsible for the word of God. It takes strength. Ah, it takes, it takes power. And, that's... and this is why, you know, we're doing another study at a different time on the book of Acts, talking about Jesus saying, don't, saying to these very same disciples, Mm -hmm. these apostles who were trained by him in the Sermon on the Mount, and after his resurrection, but before his ascension, he is saying, I don't want you to leave Jerusalem. Don't you leave Jerusalem until power has come upon you. And then you should go out into all the world. You have to have the power of God at work in your life to be able to live this meekness, this gentleness, you can't do this on your own. It's impossible. Your human nature rails so against this. Yeah. So contrast the teachings of the traditions and the teachings of the word, the Prince of Peace. Mm-hmm. In Matthew 7, Jesus said, in everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. For this is the law and the prophets. You can't tell me did you know the word of God and you don't know the law and the prophets? And what is that? To love others. Didn't Jesus say to his disciples, he said, a new commandment I give you. Mm-hmm. Love one another as I have loved you. Right? The apostle Paul, he got the message. I tell you, he got the message. And he passed it along. Think about what he taught the, 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 the Romans. Right? In Romans chapter 12, Paul wrote, never, you all know what never means? Yes. Okay, good. Never. We, would have, we could have Bible studies all, all for, on uh, on, on, well, we, we'll do the first, we'll do the first day and a half on all and do the second on never. Okay, okay. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. To anyone. Never take your own revenge. Mm. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him a drink. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Go read Romans 12. I'm not making this stuff up. That is supposed to be our new nature. The attitude of the new man, all right? The new creation. Think about what Paul wrote to Colossians. In Colossians chapter 3, he says, But now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, abusive speech from your mouth, do not lie to one another, since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices and have put on the new self, 
who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. Amen. Colossians 3, 8 through 10, all right? This is, this is the command of God. And by the way, these are not suggestions. Never, never. And Jesus said, there's one thing that will judge you at the end time, and that's going to be the words he spoke. And you want to know something? There's, there's none who has written words that were not spoken of God, okay? They're not suggestions, right. but they are, they yeah, and, are, they and are these, commandments that right. you can choose to either obey or disobey. Or disobey, and uh, you will, you will reap. Either you'll reap the fruit oh of your choices, yes, okay? Yes.